Okay guys, day five, Byron Dragway, we made it. This thing has, I mean, essentially had zero issues other than throwing the belt every single pass. Other than that, this thing has had, I mean, little to nothing go wrong with it. As of last night, we put 700 miles on and I couldn't ask for, you know, anything better in that aspect. Now getting to the racing and uh, my position and everything like that and trying to fight these traction issues, I think we figured it out. So two weeks ago, this thing, uh, this thing was going perfect, a 123 60 foot, and I did it like four or five times in a row. A to B, A to B, A to B. I changed nothing except for the boost. So at that point in time, I was running just wastegate spring and the computer was not controlling the boost. Well, you know, last week or whatever, I hooked that stuff up and I thought I had it pretty low enough, but it's still trying to pour in eight or nine more pounds of boost in the half of first gear. So halfway through first gear, it's trying to add a couple of hundred extra horsepower as to where the truck and the chassis is just not going to hold it. So I've dumbed all of that down. I've basically, the boost control is all at zero until, um, you know, one and a half seconds in the run. So that's way past the 60 foot. So I'm pretty sure we figured it out. Yesterday's last pass, um, that was kind of how I figured this out. I, I turned everything way down and it went A to B and it was slow. It went a 548 and it was slow, but it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And the boost was a lot happier in first gear. And that is where I figured out, okay, the log from two weeks ago and then the log from today is looking a lot closer as to where the rest of this week I had, you know, seven, eight, nine pounds more boost in first gear. So anyway, that's where I'm going with that. And um, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I, I tried to put a new tensioner on the serpentine belt last night. That didn't fix it. So uh, it's throwing the belt every single pass. <laughs> Jeff has had to go get it. I know the announcers and everybody's poking the bear, poking fun at me, but if there was a way that I could fix it, it would have already been fixed. So we're going to have to maybe reinvent the wheel on the serpentine setup and try something that's a little happier. But um, we've got a little while until we make our first run. We are icing this thing down today. I want it, as long as it leaves slow how I want it to, I want to pour that power in the back half and uh, try to get this thing. If I could get a five 20 something i'm gonna be ecstatic for today so as a position we're locked i mean i gotta go up there break the beams and i'm pretty much locked in for fourth position in this event so um there's a good gap in front of me and there's a good gap behind me so uh and that's kind of why i say i'm locked in so other than that i just gotta we gotta wait a little bit and then go up and start making some passes. I'm gonna to try to do everything on my phone. When I do it through the GoPros, it just takes a lot of work to transfer the videos. So um, there's not gonna be a lot of in-car footage. It's just gonna be the Cody cam. Cody's gonna be holding the phone and filming from the outside. And then I'll kind of pick up bef you know, before and after the run. So we'll just see what happens. I'll go up and make our first run. guys we got Ryan going up families but uh man it's been an awesome trip everybody's had a pretty good time 
Um, we didn't have to change a motor, at least not yet. Day's not over, so here we go. first pass it went a 542 it just barely spun the tires like 10 foot out it was really close it recovered really fast it it actually went a 129 60 foot with a pedal that's really 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 close to like making it work and go down so uh, I'm pulled right back in the lanes I made my tuning adjustments and I wasn't gonna be upset if it spun this time because I know I'm gonna have to find that fine line with the boost control so I'm getting that worked on right now, and um, we'll try to make another pass. But we successfully locked in fourth. We actually might be in third place right now. I lined up next to the guy um, in third place, and he did not go A to B, and I do not see him in the lanes right now. So, uh, dude is actually super cool, and I hope nothing's wrong with this car. Hopefully he can come back up here and make another pass. But if he doesn't, I may have third place. So we'll we'll have to uh, maybe go find him before I make another run. But uh, we're gonna make another run. Try not to get it to spin. Track is not the best. Let's do it. Alright guys, well we tried to actually leave a lot softer on that second run today, but the track is just completely gone. There was nothing we could really do. I left as soft as I could leave and it didn't even stand a chance. So um, I'm not even going to beat myself up over that. I, I watched 50 people go down in front of us, nobody's really making it down. So um, the green Camaro that was in front of us, he was in third. As of right now, the time slip I'm turning in today and the two runs he made today, I should be bumping into third place. Um, regardless, we're done for the day. The track is beat up. We're not going to beat the truck up anymore. We're going to count this as a win. We're going to load our stuff up and start making our drive home. But I have to thank Jeff uh, for helping me out all week. He's been the co-pilot. He just, he's not on camera very much, but um, I at least got to give a good shout out to my pit guy because... He thrashes. Anytime we need to do anything, he's there and he's on it. So, um, thank you, Jeff. Yep, no problem. Anything you'd like to say? Um, it's been a it's been a long week, but we made it. Get to drive the truck home in one piece. So, yep, that that was a big win there. So, especially after all the struggles last year. So, yep, you made yep. it. We made it. We didn't have to change a motor. We barely wrenched on this thing whatsoever. We changed plug wires the uh, first day. And then we changed the oil in the parking lot. Not that it needed it, because it was still kind of fresh. I just figured it'd be a good idea. So, uh, other than that, we haven't touched the truck. We've been changing tires and putting gas in it. Belts. Uh, the belts. Uh, the belt. We all talk. The belt stayed on the last pass. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I, I made it three foot and didn't give it a lot of RPM, but the belt stayed on. Uh, hey. So, other than, that's save, a win. Save the best for last. Yeah. You know. Right. So. Uh, man, I just have to thank like everybody. My old lady, Priscilla. Uh, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be out here. I mean, she, she tells me to go do this stuff, and I'm not saying like she allows me to do it. She tells me to go do this stuff. Um, she knows that this is what I love. So um, thankful for her and the kids. They're at home watching the YouTube videos, and uh, we'll get to be with them tonight. Um, 
couple of other uh, thank yous I got to do on the pipe entertainment. He donated to the cause this week, so I got to give a special shout out to him. Other than that, the motor, uh, Lane Automotive in Fulton, he's got this motor and the heads dialed in. I haven't broken it, so that's a pretty good plus. Maxwell's on the transmission, and um, Southwick Machine and Design on the rear end. So, huge thanks to those guys. Uh, if I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry, but at the, at the moment, that's all I can think of. But, uh, man, we're gonna load some stuff up, maybe get a bite to eat. We'll probably hit the road here pretty soon, so. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Three spot. It's your 275. Just four thousand of a second off the lead. All it takes is one good run here to get him right back in. Before we end this video, I kind of wanted to share with you what I found about 20 minutes after I left the racetrack yesterday on the last day of six summer. So I'm driving down the road and the truck is riding like an absolute piece of junk, like a wagon. Um, I feel every single crack in the road. My butt was already hurting. Um, it had only been like a 30 minute drive and I was feeling it. The back of the truck was just completely locked up solid. There was zero suspension movement in the rear of the truck. And I had thought it was because I had thought it was because we took some of Jeff's stuff out, like his scooter and his luggage, uh, chairs, and a couple other things here and there. Um, I thought it was just a little lighter, and it was just kind of riding rough. Uh, that was not the case. So when I, right before I hopped on the interstate, we got off the back roads, leaving the track, and right before I got on the interstate, I decided to um, loosen up the shocks. Now. When I, right as I left the track, I had loosened up the shocks five clicks. So it should have been smoother then than the entire week. So I loosened up the shocks five clicks, compression and the rebound, and drove 30 minutes, and it's riding absolute trash. So right before I got out of the interstate, I got out, and I, I pounced on it, and it doesn't move a lick. It's, I can bounce it, and it's bouncing off the tire. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. I was like, well, let's just take some more, you know, uh, some more out of the shocks. So I only had three clicks left in the shocks to loosen it all the way up. I did that, and then the truck just starts bouncing, like zero shocks. So, like, I could actually bounce it and move it, but... Just three clicks in, it was locked solid. So, the one shock, it's honestly been leaking oil for a while. And um, we're just going to go ahead and assume that thing is completely dry on oil. And that's probably been the problem all week. So, there was talk about it before, like earlier in the week, like maybe the shocks are bad. And I'm like, maybe. You know, we don't know, but there wasn't much we could do to fix that. Um, but we probably should have looked into it a little better. So I know through like every day I was like, oh, we figured it out. It's the boost. It's this, which the boost was definitely not helping, but um, it's this, it's that. But that confirms with me like that, that has to be the issue. The shocks just were locked up solid and... It screwed up the suspension, screwed up the, you know, everything. So that really sucks to, like, figure that out leaving the track. But all in all, we'll get some new shocks coming and uh, just try to be prepared. I'm already thinking of ways to make everything better for next year or for the next Dragon Drive this year. Maybe I'll do another one this year. I would love to. Um, we are going to change gear, gear ratio. I have to shift into second gear 50 foot before the finish line. So if I can do a longer gear, right now it has a 325. If we put a 3.0 gear in here, it's going to drive down the road uh, better. Like it already does pretty good, but I could be cruising 80 in this thing at 2700 RPM. It's going to leave softer on the line, but it's going to pour it in more on the top end uh, so I don't have to shift into third gear. 
Um, so that's going to do a couple things. I'm already thinking of ways to make the fuel system better because the tank is awesome. It's a big 20 gallon tank, but it takes up half of the bed. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of some things I wanted to share with you, but all in all, super good week. I'm happy to be home. I can't wait for the next one. So hope you guys have enjoyed the videos throughout the week. Uh, it's been pretty fun. I'm actually pretty impressed that I was able to, uh, get one out uh, almost every day. I'm a little, I'm a day behind now, but that's fine. So thanks again for watching and we're almost at 4,000 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. We're like 15 shy or 10 shy right now, somewhere right there, but I'm super stoked for that as well. So don't forget to subscribe and like and share, keep it going and uh, we'll keep you updated and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.